Hi, this is JD with Awesome Tivity After Dark. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a magical wand chair using one of our DIY kits. I will post links to both our DIY kits as well as our pre-made magical wand chairs along with other items you will need in order to complete this project in the description below. Let's get started. For the first step, along with our kit, you will need the following. A folding chair, a drill, an impact driver, a quarter inch drill bit, a two and a half inch hole saw, and a piece of two by eight lumber. To get started, have your partner sit on the chair with the wand toy turned upside down, positioning the head of the wand in the spot that would be the most comfortable for her. Once she has found the correct placement for her, mark the spot with a sharpie. Once we got our marking, next we're going to use a quarter inch drill bit and we are going to drill a pilot hole right through the marking. After we got our pilot hole drilled, we're going to use a two and a half inch hole saw. Match that up with the pilot. Now using the included grommet, we're going to put that on from the top side down. Just got to wiggle a little bit, massage it on. All right, looking good. Now we just got to clean it up and we're ready to flip this thing over. Okay, now that we got this chair flipped upside down, we're going to install the rubber buffers from the kit. We're going to place one about here, one about here, one here, and one here. So you kind of got one on all four corners there. The next you're going to take a piece of 2x8. So this is just a regular 2x8 right here. It's been stained black and varnished. And in this chair I'm using right now is 15 inches wide inner diameter so this was cut 15 inches and just lobbed the corners off and and then place it in like such uh, so your measurement may vary depending on what application you're using this for okay next using the black self tapper screws that come in the kit you're going to sink two in the back first side okay we need two on each side so we'll place one about right there That's it, and then repeat on the other side. Now that we got the wood in place, two screws here, two screws here, and two screws here. The next step is to get your clamp out of your kit and place it about right where you want it. We're going to be drilling three quarter inch holes in it, so figure out where the best placement is for your screw holes and make the mark. It may be necessary with your application to trim some of the clamp off towards the end, and that's fine. Now that we got our three quarter inch holes drilled, we're gonna add the end cap into the bottom here. And just push it in like so, it cleans up the look, makes it look all sexy. And then we're going to check with our speed square here, make sure we're all level. And then I like to use, you can really use anything, but if you use a, a wand attachment, go ahead and put that in there and then you've got it right where you want it. It's not gonna move around. This is just a dummy one that I use when I'm making shares. Okay, let's make sure this is nice and straight and sink our first screw in here. Okay, that's 
looking good. Follow that up with two more. Beautiful. All right, let's flip this thing over and see what it looks like. Here's the finished magical wand chair in all of its glory. It's the original corded magic wand with a dimmer switch. You can see it works pretty well. This is a great little project. If you're a DIYer, maybe you already have an extra folding chair just lying around. This is something fun you can do on the weekend. We also have these chairs available pre-made on Amazon. Just go to Awesometivity After Dark. And they are available with prime shipping. I think that's it for us here at Awesometivity After Dark. Thanks so much for watching.